score we've seen so far. Up next, we've got one and eight in quarterfinal number four. What do you expect to see out of the number one seed? Uh, so the number one seed, we have some really great robots. 11-14, uh, three regional wins this year. Possibly one of the best robots out of the landfill in all of first. Uh, that QB drive really works well for them. They're always consistent and stable, always pulling totes out of the landfill. 17-30, uh, uh, kind of a surprise number one seed at this tournament. Um, they're, they were just always there, always on this whole weekend. Um, and they're a human player stacker. Uh, and then 36-41 uh, on a really, really strong season. They're definitely good for two stacks. Been consistent the whole time. Absolutely. And on blue, I think we'll see 107 come in, run their three-toed autonomous. 21-22, they were seated high for much of the day yesterday, had some consistency issues. If they're working, they're good for four 42-point stacks, which would be incredible to see. And 23-38, they were champions on Archimedes. They'll ramp it at the human player station and put up as many stacks as possible. Absolutely. Let's throw it back down to Tyler. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are up for quarterfinal number four, featuring number one seed in red versus number eight seed in blue. Just a quick and up real quick. There are 20 years of corn left in the building right now, so if you want to get your corn on, you better go get some before it runs out. But wait until after this match. This is going to be epic here, folks. Let's meet our team, starting out the legendary 11-14. From St. Catharines, Ontario, the Symbotics. Joining them, soaring on in, 36-41. At a South Lion, Michigan, the Flying Toasters. Elias captains the number one seed Elias, 17 30. At a Lee's Summit, Missouri, Team Driven. Your number eight seed Elias captain, please welcome 23 38. Out of Oswego, Illinois, it's Gear It Forward. And joining them, give it up for 107. From Holland, Michigan, Team Robotics. Running up the stacking machine, 21-22. From Boise, Idaho, Team Taters. We have a green light, drivers behind the line. Quarterfinal four, ready. Three, two, one, rush. All right, here we go, quarterfinal four underway. Garrett Forward grabs two of those containers quickly. Symbotics does it as well for red. So blue and red with two containers each. Team Driven in the autonomous zone with those three yellow totes. That's a 20-point bonus for the Red Alliance. We enter into teleoperator mode. Drivers now have control of the robots. Everybody's moving. This is the fourth of eight quarterfinal matches. Each of the eight teams are going to get a chance to play in two matches. We're going to take their average, and the, one, the four with the four top averages are going to move on to the semis. Tater Tots for blue, dropping off a stack of six. And their partners, Team Robotics 107, doing the same. Over on the red side, Symbotics Getting ready to drop off the first stack of six, and they do for red. Team Driven dropping off a stack of six as well. They need to release it, and they do. But we've got four stacks already on the blue side, only two on the red. Plenty of time remaining in this match, though. About 68 seconds. 36-41, the Flying Toasters. Dropping off a load. Oh, but they, but they dropped off a load of six. But they hit it. They grabbed onto it with one of their guards, that was stabilizers up at the top, and they dragged it over. So that one's not going to count. It fell over. Meanwhile, over on the blue side, you've got six stacks already, and more coming. Still at three stacks on the red side. A couple of miscellaneous totes look like they fallen on top of the platforms but three stacks is the big number and here comes Symbotics with number four meanwhile gear it forward putting up another stack on the blue side that's going to be number seven and their partner putting up number eight and a now on part number nine up there which is a stack of five holy cow we're under 10 seconds remaining in the match. The Blue Alliance is just going to town on this one. Four seconds remaining. Three, 
two, one. Wow. Time expires. Our number eight seeded alliance in blue. They may have been seeded eight out of these eight quarterfinal teams, but holy cow, did they perform in this match. Our number one seed made a pretty good recovery, and they've got six big stacks there, but a little bit of a struggle at the beginning, and one just went to town. Team, team number eight, alliance number eight. We'll have the official score for you in a minute. All right, we've got a score coming up here, and we do have a high score by the Blue Alliance. 324 points for Blue. 248 for the Red Alliance. That 324 points by our number eight seed, that ties the entire high score that we've had at IRI so far. So holy guacamole, 324 points. Let's kick it up to Colin and Danny. Okay, 324 from the number eight seed. They came to play. Let's start with red, number one seed. What did you see? They showed poise and determination with an early drop stack. It didn't slow them down. They didn't even hiccup. And they still came back and put up six more uh, for a very respectable score. Yeah, 248, that puts them into position. They don't lose that stack again in their next one. They look like they'll probably move on. On blue, I mean, this isn't this isn't your traditional eight seed where they get the serpentine pick. This was the last pick in each round, and they come out and put 342. They're now ranked number one uh, going into the, the second set of quarterfinals.